What's up guys, Court Order here. We are out today at this beautiful old farmhouse. I think it goes back to like 1850s or so. Rich knocked on the door, super friendly couple. They own all sorts of land. There's horses in the back. There's old outhouses, old barns. It should be a heck of a good day. Like I said, Rich Van Winkle, Dog Tag Doug, Mexican Doug, Jane Fun Doug, Musket Ball Matt. Hopefully we're gonna kill it and find some amazing period things. We'll see how we do. So back in the first dig, see you guys soon. See ya. Later. All right, starting off in the front yard near the old farmhouse, and there is a ton of property. She said they lost a diamond ring in the back, Matt. We're going to go try to find it back by the horse paddocks later. And Matt's first find of the day. Nice old square buckle, probably off a knapsack, and you can see silver wash on there. Probably not super old, within the last 75 years or so. Just kind of making up a number, Matt, because I'm not <laughs> sure exactly. But it's a nice start, and Doug said he might have an Indian, we're not sure. He's got some sort of a small coin. We're gonna walk over and take a look. All right, so Doug thinks Indian, we're gonna take a look. It's an Indian. It is an Indian? Yes, sir. It's a small circle, that's for sure. Oh, oh, that absolutely. Oh, Doug, a... that's a good start to the day. First hole. Yeah, I think it's 1883 or 93. Okay. One of the two, but 1800's the very first hole of the day for yeah, you? Yeah. Did you bring a banana? No, I brought that's one. That's not my stick. Oh, you got to get a stick, Doug. You got to bury like a watermelon or something. You should be able to carry one of those <laughs> yeah, around. I'll carry one of them around. Great We're start, off Doug. We're to a good start. Absolutely. I'll put it right yes, in your little... In my... I can't get it in there. Way whatever. to go. All right, Rich Van Winkle. I knew it wouldn't be long before Rich got his first signal. The guy is a machine. And he said he got something good. Ooh. Oh, wow. That looks like an old gas line key, Rich. Oh, it's a gas? I, I figured clock key. It could, well, it could be. When For I say like a yeah, grand, big grandfather It certainly clock. could. I've seen these kind of keys where, wow, that's beautiful. That's one of the bigger ones I've ever seen, really wide. Could be for a clock, I've seen them for gas lines, I've seen them for all sorts of things. That's a great piece, that's gotta be well over 100 years old. Sometimes I'll even have like a marking, that's why I was trying to look like a design or something. I was gonna toothbrush it just cause. Yeah, we'll give it a brush down and see, but what a great old piece there. Imagine when they lost that, they're like, oh, can't wind the clock anymore. <laughs> I guess we don't know what time it is. We'll clean it up and see if we can get any markings on it. Awesome. Oh, I got something good right there, but look, it's right under that big root. I mean, that is a heck of a screaming signal and it's small. Maybe I can get to it from the side of the root. We're here 10 minutes and Jason just hit a screamer. The, he's gonna live dig it. Try obviously up against this root. Uh, the only downside is that it's right up next to a huge root but hopefully he'll get lucky and it'll be to the side of it otherwise this could be a long piece of footage no he's on it yeah but it's under the root big yeah i think it's a lid I think it's in a loop. Oh, wait. You oh, see Doug. something on yeah, it? I do. I do. There's an edge, Doug. This could be. It could be a silver part of an old pocket watch. Ooh. That's what it is, Doug. No it's, kidding. You see the hole right there? Oh, the, yeah, yeah. It's got the tarnish on it. Like Yeah, I think it, it's a part. It's definitely an old pocket watch. You can see from yeah, the hole yes. and the ring. And there's fancy around uh, the edge around the edge you can see part of the broken hinge there i'm going to clean it up doug and see if there's a sterling marking on it but okay it's, a, it's definitely good. an old pocket watch piece and no it wonder could be it sterling. sounded so good yeah bigger than a large cent all right there's my piece and it's definitely an old pocket watch the outside cover and it's got some nice markings on it i turned it over i do not see a sterling mark on this side but you can see the hinge here where they would have had the other part of the pocket watch sticking up it sure looks like sterling. All this black is like a heavy tarnish. Maybe I'll even find the other half of it. But man, what a good start for me. I'd love to find the fob key, maybe more of the clock itself. Man, that's a good sign. This place may have never been hunted before. Awesome. Love it. And then, of course, my first find of the day means I'm going to get the banana, which I got in my side pouch. Put that in the banana hole underneath of this root and hopefully have a super cool day and find amazing things till the sun goes down. So in the bag she goes, let's keep on going. 
All right, I was in this almost exact position a few minutes ago, only Rich was like right there and found that key. He moved right to there and he said he found something else cool. So let's see what he's got. He's hugging so the house. Very, very next signal after I found this. Oh, <laughs> size comparison. Look at that. That is beautiful. Now this is also like a clock key or something very simple. It's gotta be a small clock key. Yeah. I can't yeah. believe how tiny it is. Let's clean the dirt out of the holes, Rich, and I'd love to put it next to your other one for scale <laughs> because, wow, I can't believe you're banging out these super old Victorian keys right off the bat. All right, there's Rich's newest key, and it is a cute little guy. It's got some guild on there. Beautiful, small mantle clock style key, and for comparison, next to the last grandfather size <laughs> clock key, I'm going to call it. That's an amazing one-two punch, and you know what's funny? The small one was way down there, and as tiny as it is, it was still a screamer with that new Legend machine. Are you liking that Legend, Rich? Oh, I'm loving it. You're finding some it really was, good stuff with yeah. it. But that's an amazing start for you. Congratulations. Everyone's already on some good stuff. I can't believe it. We've been yeah. here 10 minutes. <laughs> way to go, brother. Awesome job. Thanks. Well, here's one of the barns that are here, and I don't think this barn's very old. But what's in this barn, because this is a Belgian horse farm, and we're going to go look at some of the horses later, they have these really old carriages here that he said they still pull occasionally. And he said this weekend they have a wedding that they're gonna pull one of these in. I don't know if it's gonna be that one or this one. I can't wait to go see the horses. It's so hot today that they're indoors, but we're gonna go into the stable and take a look at them shortly. All right, so Rich dug down. I didn't want to do a live dig because I thought it was going to be deep. Turns out it wasn't as deep as we thought. The dig in here is real Yeah, easy Rich too. put his lesh in here, pulled back. The dirt cracked right here, and this silver coin popped out. Oh, Rich, that looks... Is it a dime? Yep, it's it a silver a dime. dime. Looks like it's a mercury dime. What a good start that is. <laughs> when, when we talked to the homeowners this morning, they were saying that someone has been here before detected, and you always worry, like, oh, I hope they weren't, like, super efficient. Turns out they weren't. <laughs> 30, 1936. 36? Nice. Yep. It's pretty, uh, pretty good detail. A little bit of black. Um, thank you. Yeah. yeah, look at that. And that was a nice one, too. A nice tone all over the place. I wonder if it was on edge that would have caused that little bit of a gruntiness on the pinpoint. It was a little bit, because if I push this back in. Yeah, it might have been on edge a little bit to uh, maybe explain for that. But either way, you came up with a beautiful silver coin. Our second piece of silver in, in what? How long have we been here, Rich? Maybe a half hour? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Hey, well done. Congratulations. Thank you. Everyone's on something already. Let's see if we can keep this up all day long. All right, I got Doug over for luck. I asked Doug what his Indian rang up. He said 32 or so. 31, 33. I had a 33, which is a weird signal for me. I only got the lash because I heard it on the surface. I pulled down a little bit, and when I lifted my lesh up, Doug. Oh, I see it. But that would but not be. But that's bigger than a. This is like large a scent size, scent and size. the 33 would be weird. So it could be nothing, but when I see a big circle like that, I got to call Doug over. I think that's a problem. Yeah, but a 33? Wow. Well, is, is that a dandy? It doesn't feel like a coin, it feels too light. maybe i don't know what it is can i feel it? yeah let's toothbrush wow. it and see what it might be all right there's a thing i just stuck up and man dirty in the hole it sure looked like it could be a copper i don't see much at all on this side on the back it almost looks like there's a design in the middle and going around the rim somewhat trying to catch it in the light for some reason, it also almost just looks like a piece of junk. It's misshapen a little bit. So, I don't know, but I'll research it more when I get home. I look at everything two, three, four times before I discard it. But at the moment, I'm leaning towards nothing good. All right, I just pulled out this Heineken bottle cap, which is no treasure by any means. But as I pulled it out... I heard Rich hoo and hollering because he got 
Oh, a nice top part of a crotal bell. <laughs> a full crotal bell is still on your bucket list, isn't it, Rich? It is. Oh, man. This is the nicest piece so far. Yeah, that one was drilled, too. That was a nice one. Right off the top, you can see part of the hole. Yeah. Uh, I hope you get a whole one today, or at least <laughs> when you get the whole one, I'm there to see it. Yep. It took Doug about a, what, Doug, almost two oh. years <laughs> to get your first me, whole one? Took me forever. But then the floodgates opened. Yeah. Good find, man. Thank you. We hit this pretty well. We're gonna walk around and start to work on the sides and the back. But on the walk out, Doug said he might have another Indian. We're gonna take a look. Yeah, that looks like one set. Yep, I can see it. It's upside down. Pretty crusty. Yeah, what number did this hit on your machine? Is war? Uh, thirty-three, same as the the last one I got. Well, yeah, it's it's very war, but I can see the one cent and the shield. Yeah, the other side, I just couldn't get it clean enough yet. Yeah, there's going to be an Indian on there somewhere, but right now he's hiding. <laughs> he's doing a very good yeah. job sometimes, camouflaging himself. Sometimes that's the best move is to just hide. Yeah. But the back, you can definitely tell. Way to go, Doug. Two Indians. You are the coin winner so far on the yeah. day. We're going to try around the back where the outhouse was and all the right. sides and hopefully have a good day all the way through. All right. So we're in the far back of the property. On the other side of that barn is the house. And we came all the way back here because the wife here said that she lost a ring somewhere near the outhouse in this area. So we're going to come look for it for a little bit. I'm going to put my machine in all metal. I'm going to put it, uh, get rid of the custom. I might uh, put it in multi two. It's a gold ring with diamonds. And she doesn't even know for sure she lost it back here. But we're going to take a look around. I'm going to dig a lot of mystery tones and maybe I'll get a couple of things I wouldn't normally get. So we'll see how we make it out. Doug and Rich are coming. Me and Matt got here first. Let's see how we do. All right, so Matt might have found the first piece of jewelry back here that could have been the homeowner's wife. Oh, yeah. Well, that looks like it might be costume to me. Oh, that's pretty though, Matt. She said she lost a ring. She didn't say anything about an ear ring. <laughs> mm -hmm. Who knows? Let's clean up and take a look, Matt. It's a good looking uh, piece of jewelry cool. either way. Look how nice that cleaned up. We don't know if this is real or not. Rich suspects costume. It's very light, rang up really low, a 12 on Matt's Equinox and like a 28 to 30 on the Legend. The filigree work is really beautiful though, Matt. All that scroll work and design. The clasp is just like a hook and eye up there. Nothing that would even have a sterling mark if it was. It's really good looking. So, um, you know, if we find anything else on it, we'll come back. But it's a really nice piece, Matt. Congratulations. All right. Thank you. All right. As we were recording Matt's earring, Doug was screaming like he was being attacked by a werewolf. <laughs> So finally we got done the earring and we came over and Doug's got something pretty good down the hall. Oh, wow. <laughs> is that broken? No, it's intact. No, it's not. It is. I'm telling you. Oh, wow. That's my biggest. Oh, Rich has got to be crying inside. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. And wow. it was down there. To find a whole one this size is very, very rare. Oh, my goodness. Now, they said we can use the water over there, Doug, against the yeah, uh, farm. I'll, I'll, I'll get yeah, it all let's go out. clean it up and we'll that's, That looks to be Tom back. That's Correct. the original uh, well, time it would be top. drilled through. Yep. So, yeah, let's go clean it up and it might even jingle, Doug. I hope How so. How cool would that be? That'd be a heck of a jingle. All right, there's Doug's crotal bell. He has an old hand pump here. We <laughs> It only comes out of that dribble. <laughs> so, it took us forever to get it, but. You can see it says number, I guess it's number nine. And you can see all the petals going around. This is the biggest complete one I've ever seen you find, Doug. Yep. Now the ball's going to be in there. The sides are still compacted with dirt, if you can see in there. We're going to need some high pressure water to yeah, get that I out could, later. I could produce a better flow. <laughs> well, you wish. <laughs> <laughs> but Doug will clean it out later. The ball's going to be suspended in there. I'm sure it will jingle again. Yes. But that's a great find, Doug, and this oh, is man, over 200 years old. Yeah, it's uh, pretty exciting for me. Very nice. And while we're in here, Doug, some of the horses. What kind of horses are these, Doug? Uh, 
Um, well, I don't think they're in the draft to win. He has really... Belgians, but I think they're in a different stall. He borders horses. Oh, horses. maybe these are the ones he boards. He's, yeah. He's got one over here. Yeah. Really good looking. And then over he here. Right? something in the palm of your hand. Oh, there's a little one over here, Doug. Yeah, there's two of them. Look, there's a little baby oh. one over here. The draft horses are much bigger. Yeah, he's tiny. And then here's the another one here. That's beautiful. And hey, way to go, Doug, on that old crowd oh, about. Now, is that a nine or a six? I well, think, I think it's a nine I mean, only because, well, turn it up over. Turn yeah, it over. Uh, yeah. So it's N-O at the top. So N -O oh, okay, got gotcha. you. So, yeah. If, Number if you nine. read from uh, left to right, top to bottom, it would be a nine. Well, it could be six on. It could be six on, <laughs> yeah. But yours fell off, so you got to turn it over. Good find, Dougie. Yeah, boy. Well, Doug went back to the hose and meticulously worked on this crotal bell for quite a while. Got all the dirt out. And it's got an old soul rumble to it because the thing's 200-some years old. But that ball is still in there and still jingling after all this time. So what a super cool find we showed the homeowner. The ones he has are sleigh bells. It has a cross of two of these. This original crotal style, this pedal bell. Super old, might even be colonial Tomback material. Amazing find there, Dougie. Put that sucker in the car so it doesn't get broken. Let's see. Rich is saying this is a first for him, but he's not super excited about it. So I'm like, well, what could this be? Oh, oh, I see. It's massive. It must be like a like a clad Eisenhower yes. or a half. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, look at that. Your first one ever? Yep. 96. Wow. 96. I've had one where around Easter, the homeowners would bury half dollars in the eggs for the kids to find. Yeah. So something like that. You didn't happen to see a plastic Easter egg in the hole, did you? I didn't. It was pretty <laughs> deep. Was but, it? Yeah. We don't get a lot of half dollars, silver or clad. And this is your first half dollar ever? Yeah. It's a beautiful coin. That must have been really screaming. What number did it I come knew, up? I knew it was a coin. It was coming up a 51. Order. I was really hoping silver, but it was so solid. Well, that is a nice bucket lister to me, and to get that half dollar off your list, even if it is a clad one. Yeah. And maybe the next one will be 100 years older than that. Maybe. Hey, good find, man. Sweet. Nice. Thanks. Tell me it's a crotal bell. I've never gotten one. Doug, this is something we haven't found in maybe two years. In how many years? Today. Over two years. Coinage? Yes, and it's a good one. This was coming up a 38 on the legend. I was hoping for like maybe a button or something like that. It's under this dirt bomb. I saw a little bit of it and I covered it up. Oh. Oh. You know what it's going to be, Doug? Trime. It's going to yeah, be a time, yeah. maybe a half, half time, time, but it's so I tiny. It's a time it's a time, no, that's. I think that's a half time. Here, I got spray. Oh, awesome either way. Hit that mat. I don't want to even rub it with my hand. It's a trime. I see yep, the star. Yeah, yeah. I see the oh, star. Right. Son of a gun. All right. Oh, I was thinking about those this morning. This is Rich's spot. You pull his crotal bell and I pull it down. <laughs> this one. And Rich is oh, already oh, right. Look oh, how nice it is. Oh, you want me to get more permissions, oh, you better knock it off. Look yeah, at yeah. that, Doug. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, my goodness. Let's as soon just... as I saw the edge, I knew exactly what it was, Doug. As soon as I saw the size. I guess we're working over here. And that's a, a nice shape. Oh, let me spray it down. We're going to get a super close-up of it. Oh, I love this nice coin. Nice job. Hang on. All right, I cleaned up my trime. On the surface, it's a 35, and we sprayed it down. And look at this, Doug. One of the best-looking coins it's we ever made. very good shape. You can see the C, half circle, stars. It's actually the smallest silver coin the U.S. ever made, Doug. Yep. And it is in great shape. I'll get that little bit of dirt off stain I think if it was later. smaller, you still would have found it. I don't know. I mean, it was not the greatest tone, but it's kind of quiet out here. So I'm chasing yeah. buttons. I'm chasing your crotal bell inspired me to dig off tones. Awesome. And, awesome. And here is this side. The smallest coin minute by the U.S. Yep. It looks like it's 1853. Beautiful star. Oh, man, Doc. That one is a rejuvenator when you get something like that. Yep. 
I think for us as a team, it's been over two years since any of us I got one. I think it's one. been longer when I got the, uh, when we were in South Jersey uh, at that. Uh, yeah, that button place where we got, where the Jersey Devil was. Jersey, Jersey Devil, yeah. exactly. Yep. You got one there. Wow. What an amazing coin, dog. That Bucket is. lister for anybody out there. What a beauty. Well, that rejuvenates all of us. Oh, man. <laughs> that really gets the, my heart is still yeah, As soon as I saw it, I knew what it was. I covered it with a dirt bomb and called everybody over. What an amazing coin. Now all the guys are gonna come over. This could be a hot spot, you never know. But that's gonna go right in the special case so I don't lose it, like the last guy did 150 years ago. And maybe we'll find some of his friends. What a find. All right, we are working near this big barn that has a lot of his border horses in there. We'll take a look at them later. And Musket Ball Matt found this pretty cool piece. And we don't know what it is. Here's the back where it looks like you would pinch down maybe some leather. I thought maybe to the end of like a belt or something. But look at the image on there. There's a crest and it looks like a dragon above it. I don't know what it is. And the top says Hamilton. And Hamilton happens to be the property owner's last name. But we showed it to him and he said, no, I don't recognize it. Maybe it's a different Hamilton. So what, what are the odds of that? Maybe Alexander yeah. Hamilton. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Someone can dream, can't they? I don't know what it is. It's always interesting. You know, when they made it, they thought enough of it to, you know, etch it out like that. So it must have been special at one time. So, hey, pretty cool piece, man. We'll put right, it in the bag. Thank you. And I'm going to go in in a second and take a look at those horses in there. He's got some good looking ones. All right, nice find, brother. Yep. We're finding some cool horse stuff at the horse farm. Doug's crotal bell might have been my favorite relic of the day, but he said he's got a rosette. Oh, and I see from yeah. the back, definitely. A, ooh. And it's kind of got like a rope. Oh, it sure does. I don't know if it's a rope, but it's a beautiful design. Yeah, going it it's got a lot it's of weight. Heavy. Yep. They're usually backed with lead. Yep. And then this bar will go into the lead and it'll go on that horse. I don't know if Doug, if this is 20 years old or 100 years old. Yeah, I'm not sure. Kind of hard to say. And what do you think this is in the middle? I don't know. Uh, but, like a stone? But, I don't know. Like it almost looks like a polished, like a looks like, like a it has some kind of finish on it. And this is copper on the outside. Yeah, it really rang up pretty oh, high. Oh wow, yeah, that's a beautiful piece. So you have to show him and see if he recognizes yeah. it. I love the scroll work around the outside. Yeah, whatever it is. that is, pretty cool. Yeah, you really got a winner. You're really kicking some butt on the beautiful horse tack yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. And Doug, he's, he offered to bring us inside and show us his Belgian horses, too. Well, that I ought can't to be wait to, nice. Oh, they look massive they're, in the picture. Beautiful. So I'm going to go see if he'll bring us over there soon. Okay. Great find there, Dougie. All right, so he's bringing out some of his prize. These are Belgians, right? Not uh, Belgian draft horses. Look at the size of him. He's almost as big as me. <laughs> look at that. He is beautiful. Uh, this is Marty. This is Marty. Hey, Marty. Marty's 18 years old. Wow. He still likes to work. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, he loves it. Wow, that is massive. He's, he's 18'3, which means he's 6 feet 3 inches tall at the base of his neck. They're hands. 18'3 is hands. Yep. And he's, uh, he's probably about 21, 2200 pounds. I can imagine. Do you keep that on his head for the bugs? Yes. They, they, they want to go right into your eyes. They do. Yeah, they do for me, too. He is beautiful. Oh my goodness, his feet are massive. Wow. Holy cow. Well, Doug just got himself another rosette. This one, Doug, is older and I think maybe cooler. Here's the back. And you can see these two prongs where the bar from the last one comes up and over. But the other side, this is the old style with glass and there's usually a picture or something underneath. I don't know what that is. It almost looks like it could be like fabric or something making that star shape. Is that a star shape? I don't know exactly what it is, but I can clearly see the pointed star going around. And this rosette is 1800s. I've gotten only one before that has this glass years ago, and the glass has a big crack down the middle. So yours is in better shape. You might be near one of the original carriage houses, Doug, to be pulling out two back-to-back -to -back rosettes. Yeah. Did he? Yeah, they were only uh, three feet from each other. Yeah, that's great, man. Congratulations. Another super cool old equestrian find. Yes, thank you. 
All right, musket ball Matt said he's got something. You sounded excited, Matt. Oh, a little bit. Are you? All right. I see him smiling, so it's not going to be like a D buckle. Oh, <laughs> son of a gun. He finally got his second musket ball. <laughs> he's musket ball Matt. We've been breaking his chops because he's only ever found one musket ball. So now he's musket balls Matt. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> and the one was bigger than the other. Yeah, they're always, the yeah, ball. the left one's usually bigger. Yeah, another dropped musket ball. Well, congratulations. I said, man, you know, to be musket ball, Matt, you got to come with a musket ball <laughs> once in a while. Yeah, yeah. Man, nice weight, nice patina to it. Yeah. There could be a lot of age in this little side field on the side of the barn, maybe where we're, the original carriage house spot. was. Yep. yep. Hey, way to go, man. That's a nice one. Uh, Very heavy musket ball, Matt. Good right, job, thanks. brother. All right, Doug, enough is enough. <laughs> Hey, got, I didn't spill them. I'm just fine. Doug's them. got the first ever rosette spill. The first one with the rope going around the edge. Right. The second glass one with the star. And now, and now he gets a third one. This one dome. is a dome. You can see the rosette pin going across the back. And in the center is a dog. You can see him over there. There's this nose right here. Yep. It's got a crack on the glass. And because it's a dome, the glass, it kind of makes it magnified. But it, it looks like a Scottish... Uh, I don't know. It looks rather big. A, a, it does have pointy ears, though. Yeah, I can't tell. I was going to say a Scottish... Uh, Scott Terrier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, you don't think so? No, I think it's too big. All right. And he might even have a name on his collar. I can't quite tell. Does it say Dog Tag it, Doug? It might. Well, it does now. <laughs> I can't believe that's the first I've ever seen a rosette spill three back to back to back maybe better and better and better too each one yeah, yeah. so if there's another one there next to that another, it might uh, be gold if you want to hold yeah, it might your be gold. glasses i'm gonna i'm gonna stay real close and just see if just you in case flop another one out just don't start swinging uh, congratulations man that's crazy Thanks. three in a row oh man what a house that was now we have since moved on to the 1740s house which you guys will see in a future video but that horse farm absolutely amazing I think two or three silver coins, the silver pocket watch, a couple of Indians, Rich with the key spill, Doug with the three super old horse rosettes, the earring, and then my favorite find of the day was the 1853 silver three cent trime. We find them very unfrequently. I think it's been two or three years since the last one. What an incredible coin that was. And then those beautiful Belgian draft horses. Those things were incredibly huge. They were taller than me at the shoulder. They were beautiful animals and we had one heck of a good time. And of course, if you guys want to get out and find some incredible things in your local area, shoot me an email, quarterhoarder, yahoo.com. Let me know where you live, what your budget is, what you're hoping to look for, and I'll help pick out the best machines for your budget so you can get out and find some of the incredible things like we do at incredible places just like this every single week. I'm telling you, you're going to love it. It's a hobby of champions. Otherwise, thanks for watching, everybody. Happy hunting. Get back to business. I'll see you on the next one. Later.